now I'm going to be solving this integral here. I'll make a picture first. Picture's worth a thousand words. The picture looks like this. Your, your area represented by the integral starts at 1 and it goes all the way down, all the way to infinity. And it's got all this area here. This is y is equal to 1 over x. The integral becomes something like this, ln of x going from infinity to 1. That becomes ln of infinity minus ln of 1. That becomes infinity minus 0. That becomes infinity. Ipikaye, boom. I told you, some infinitely long areas, like this one, even though they taper down to 0, are still infinite. What makes this incredibly interesting is the comparison between this one and one of the previous examples we did. I'll remind you, the, one of the previous examples that we did had something like this. It has something like y is equal to 1 over x squared, and the area that we had represented was something like this, and it went infinitely long, almost indistinguishable from here. But when we computed this integral, it turned out to be something like, I forget, but I can remember, it was integral of x to negative 2 dx from 1 to infinity. It was x to negative 1 from infinity to 1. It was equal to negative 1 over infinity minus negative 1 over 1 it was equal to 1. What? No way. We just calculated this one, which is that picture, and we just computed that integral to be infinite. It's long. This area is infinitely big. And we earlier we computed this one and this area that looks a lot like that one, except this one's 1 over x and this one's 1 over x squared. The crucial difference is that this one goes down faster because every time you have a large number, for example, a thousand, if you square it, well, it's 1 over 1,000 squared, where this one's just 1 over 1,000. So this one's small, but not so small. This one is super small, to the point where if you add up the entire area, you get exactly 1. Amazing. Mind-blowing. It's like double rainbow. Chew on that. That's what makes this interesting, that sometimes infinitely long areas are infinite, and sometimes they're not. And so it becomes a, a really nice uh, uh, exercise to try to figure out these infinitely long areas. All right, come back for some awesome, uh, more some more awesome examples.